Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software. This is the second video in the Impex series in which we show you how you can import and export points and lines from your CAD software. So using GeoTools, we go to the export menu and start the Impex command which is gt underscore Impex in GeoTools and cp underscore Impex in CAD Power. So I have chosen a file joida.csv which, which you can see here. So this is a file which contains easting, northing, elevation and a number of additional attributes like feature code, join code, pipeline code, location code, point ID and so on. So you can see them here arranged in a comma separated record. So what is more important here is to know the basic parameter or the basic format of the file. So in this case it's easting, northing and elevation. So it's an ENZ format with some additional attributes at the end. So we go back to GeoTools and in the format I've chosen ENZ and I've chosen the file as joida.csv what you saw just now and the exchange mode is import and object to import is point. If you go to the parameters create point features as blocks because that is what we want. This option is unchecked and the block name is chosen as joida underscore pt and store point descriptions and numbers as attributes. Once again the block name is joida underscore pt. So we choose the description attribute which is desk. The point number attribute is point number. The elevation attribute is elev and what is important is that I'm going to choose this multiple descriptions import. So once you have imported the basic attributes like your description point number and elevation, you can also choose this option and choose what are the additional attributes you want to import. So you have already seen here feature code, join code, pipeline, location, point ID. These are the additional attributes I want to import. So I go back to GeoTools feature code, join code, pipeline and location code. So it's already selected from the list here. So you just need to select them and click on add and they come in the order in which you want. So it's important that you choose the order correctly in exactly the same way as it is in the file. So once you're done click on OK and once again here it's very important that you choose your parameters correctly especially your file name your data format and your import export options. So I click OK. Okay, so let's do a zoom extent. I think there is a stray point here. I'm going to remove it. And this is my main data. So if you zoom into one of the blocks, you can see that the pipeline code, the location code, the elevation, easting and northing are not populated, they are left as zero, the feature code has come in correctly, the joint code also has come in, there is no description in the file so that is left as blank. But you can see that whatever attributes you had in the text file have now been populated in the block. So this way you can bring in a file which has got a specific basic format like ENZ or PENZ and then you can add the additional formats by choosing the multiple descriptions export. So it's easy to set the file in Excel using column manipulations you can set the file in the format you want, save it as CSV and you can bring it into GeoTools or CAD Power quite easily. So the command runs on the command line also you can just type gp underscore gt underscore impacts and run it here or in cat power you can just run it as cp underscore impex. It runs identically in AutoCAD as well. You can see that the user interface is exactly similar. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you and let me know if you have any comments.